birthday all planned out. I want us to drink a bunch of Four Locos, then swim across the lake after midnight. I really don't think it's that far across. It looks real close. Roger, didn't you just have a birthday a couple of months ago? So, who's in for the Loco Lake Swim? Look, Roger, we're all for trying new things, but that sounds too dangerous. Yeah, if new things are so great, where have they been all this time? They've been on Augustus Seatbelt, the inventor of the airbag. <coughs> Hello? We're not going to any stupid safety museum. <sighs> Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Baby, and it's in that towel. Show me that baby! N no, it's a raccoon. What did you do with your baby? Look at this adorable guy. I'm gonna call him Cuddles. I'm gonna go do something on the edge, like skydiving or trying on underwear at Marshall's. Oh, hey, Roger, there you are. I wanted to ask your advice. Finally, so That's it! I'll become a jock! You'll be as good a jock as you are a listener. Now, if only there was a way I could remember this day forever. Oh, my God, a red light camera! My God, how long was I out? This long or this long? The first one. Roger, I just want to tell you how happy we are that we didn't go along with your stupid plan. Which means you're probably alive. Let's check your vitals. <laughs> Unless it was Dr. Baby, the baby who's in charge of this hospital. But I assure you, your vision wasn't real. It was nothing but a post-comatic delusion. You just need a little more rest. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm a dedicated professional with a spotless record. You see, when I'm engaged with a patient, it's as if the whole world disappears around me. Oh, no. Maybe to get out of this one. Oh, my God. I was right. This was my vision. Ma'am? Ma'am? I was right. <laughs> I see you on a beach. Man, man. Whoa, you look sexy when you cry. Really? No one's ever noticed that about me before. How about I buy you a red stripe? Came home early and ruined the whole thing. It's here! One row flux and five containers of protein powder. Ugh. You're never going to use any of that stuff. Of course I'm going to use it. And I'm starting with a protein shake right now. Fun tie. A set of keys. Francine, you're getting a new car. That's ridiculous, Roger. I just got a new car, and I love it. It's the same car that Matt Damon drove, and we bought a zoo. Um, interesting. It says here, autoerotic asphyxiation is the number one cause of awkward funerals. Oh, they have a picture? <laughs> <laughs> museum. Yeah, it's not like it's the Natural History Museum full of dangerous ideas and attitudes. Ignore him, Stan. We can take my car. Like we are the future to them. I'm definitely feeling it now. That was amazing, Roger. See what happens when you listen to me? He picked every horse. You just gave me goosebumps. I love it. Speaking of love, Roger, there's another girl in my class I think I have a pretty good shot with. Oh? Well, allow me. Come here, you. <laughs> Roger, what's so funny? Nothing. I say go for it. You have been randomly selected for... Racial profiling. Come up to my hotel room? Sure. I think we should move on. No, I know I can get this. Do you want to come up to my hotel room? As long as you have a t-shirt I can sleep in. Hey, there she is. Hi, Helen. Safety off! We gotta get out of here. It's just a really good replica of an... This isn't real either. None of it's real. There are no actual safety precautions in this museum. What do we do? I'll tell you what to do. 
If you're ready to listen. Roger, wh what are you doing here? I wrote this 14 minutes ago because in my vision you asked me that exact stupid question. Now do what I say! Just stay behind the cone! <laughs> Oh my god! Roger, you saved- Hold on, wait for it. And the lanyard you made me at Camp Shoulda, Woulda, Coulda. I can't believe that Roger can see the future. Now hold on, I, I don't know if it proves that. You know that note I gave you? Turn it over. But that's not why he doesn't call. He dies in that fire. So you didn't need to tell me about the ten pounds? Somebody needed to tell you. My gift on that. Come on, Roger, touch it! You drop a load in the pool. Wait, no. It's a baby Ruth. Wait, no. That's a scene from Caddyshack, which I'm trying to watch. Do I end up... Roger, am I gonna like this salad? Should I be taking smaller bites? Roger, am I about to say something funny? I want to say something funny. Is that enough? Is is, is... is... is that? Is that too much? Oh, we don't care what you think. We care what you see. Well, fine. If that's all you're after... Wait, where are you going? Should we go with you? Should I take a bath tonight, or will I fall asleep and drown? Do I have to go to the bathroom? Look, you guys are on your own. I'm out of here. At least let us come with you. No, you should, you, you should, you should probably stay here. Why? Oh, so close. But lessons are not for me. Lessons are for schoolboys. Schoolboys are for me. Red light. <laughs> But Dr. Stack was the coma expert, and he got fired and sued into poverty by a grieving widow and her Rastafarian fiancé. Huh. So, can I get an orange juice, or is there a long-ass story? But I haven't lost mine. Mind Quad. Sounds like you're thirsty, friend. So you had powers, and now you lost them. It's like me. In my country, I'm doctor. Really? What kind of doctor? Back! Everybody, Roger's back! Oh, Roger, what a relief! We don't have to be scared anymore! Yeah, maybe we can leave the house now. Wait a minute. You haven't left the house in three weeks? But when we started eating the couch, we stopped needing toilet paper. The stuffing wipes itself on the way out. Okay, this is bad. Wait, wait where's Klaus? I'm right here. Brisbane begins? Red, red is that? Okay, what is that? Oh, in your absence, Steve's forgotten English. Ang... Angrish. How did my ab brace it? Now I'm telling you you'll die if you don't get out of this house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you want to have a vision? Make sure it's safe? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yes, my vision says you will be... Sober slasher on. Steve's right. It's just the sprinklers. Whoops. Ah, you got me. I lost my powers. Now we can go back to our normal lives. Isn't that great? No, it's not great. Without your powers, we have no idea what dangers are lurking outside this house. You guys, listen. Oh, my God! What was that? I don't know. Let's hide in the basement. Steve, your English is back. Oh, I was just doing that to make you guys laugh. <gasps> Somebody used my Roflex! and it's set to the highest strength level. Cuddles! I forgot about him. He must have escaped. Wait a minute. Oh, how do you know? Did you have a vision of it? He's standing right there. Right! Don't you guys get it? Even if we could stay alive in here, what kind of life would that be? Life is risky, but... You have to get out there and take chances anyway. Why should we listen to you? I'm just asking you to listen to me this once. Okay, but how are we gonna fight a giant raccoon? We don't have to fight it. All we have to do is get out of the house. Quick, everybody link arms. He'll think we're a bigger animal. Huh?
body. I guess we owe you a thanks, Roger. It seems like knowing what the future holds can really keep you from living in the present. Yeah. Hey, hey, why are you smacking your tushy? <laughs> why, uh, why are you smacking your tushy? Why are you doing that? Stop, stop, stop it. 